Do you want me to fetch your slippers, sir? Really, we're great. Why don't you pay it back? Rehearsals for Alpha Betty's first full-length production. The theatre company started life in the same year that Newcastle City Council announced it was cutting its funding to the arts. It was started in 2012 and it was in a bedroom um, of just trying to get anything going. Uh, obviously with the cuts going it was almost impossible to find any funding around. Um, we eventually got ourselves into upstairs room by the pub, uh, got that going, got some funding for that, got a name for ourselves. Uh, we then able to move off from there and go find this space which has been amazing. The idea being to get it licensed so they wouldn't have to rely solely on the box office. They found a basement below a gallery in a building due for demolition and transformed it in a matter of months. Even getting it to this shape has taken hundreds of people's uh, money, 50 odd people actually coming in and lending a hand with paint brushes, tools, uh, calling in as many favours as I could with friends who could build anything. It's just the relief and the joy of getting here is amazing. Alphabetti's ethos is about giving emerging artists a stage. Designer by day and playwright by night, Louise Taylor's first piece of work made its debut on the venue's opening night. It's really exciting as a new writer to get the chance to have a full production of your work performed. You don't really get that a lot. And I think the exciting thing about working with Alphabetti in particular is that they're a new company, they're a fringe company. They can take risks like this. They can take a risk on a new writer like me and commission me to write a full-length play and actually produce it, which is just remarkable for a new writer to have that chance. So far, more than 3,000 opportunities have already been created for artists in the last two years. With its future secured for at least the next six months, Alphabetti is as determined as ever to keep grassroots culture alive in the basement. Shurana Saga, BBC Look North, Newcastle.